Hello, this is Shubhrayati Roy from SR Robot Runnings and in this tutorial we will learn about an Arduino. So, this is how our Arduino looks like. So, it's the Arduino Uno board which is very comfortable to use for your school projects or for any of your electronics projects. So this is our Arduino Uno board. As you can see here are many pin headers and also here is a 32 pin IC which is a microcontroller IC. So first thing you should know about your Arduino that what is actually called an Arduino. So guys, an Arduino is a microcontroller board. So by programming it, you can make many cooler robots or many cool projects. And in my next video, I will show you some of them. So let's talk about this. So guys, this is our Arduino Uno board. It's from Italy, as you can see, made in Italy. And you can also check their official website www.arduino.cc. At there, you can get the free software, the Arduino IDE, to program your Arduino very easily. So, first here is a programming port here is it a power port this one is and a reset button here is it so guys let's talk about this IC this is the Atmega 328P microcontroller IC and here is another microcontroller IC which is this one so guys there are many pin headers there are many female pin headers you can see and also the male headers you can see on this board so guys the upper layer the upper layers of the pin headers of the female pin headers are for the digital pins so that means you can easily connect your digital sensors or digital circuits or the all of kind of digital pins with this headers or with this line so next we will talk about our analog pins and here is our analog pins so guys in digital pins there are 13 pins in your digital PWM layer and there are five analog inputs or five analog pins and also you can see that here are the power pins here is the reset the 3.3 and the 5 volt output version to GND and here is another GND point which means the ground or the negative point and you can also power it with your external battery source or with your external power source by connecting it with the VIN or VIN so by this by using this port you can easily program your Arduino Uno R3 board here is it and you can also power your board without connecting any power source with V in by just connecting your power cable or the programming cable with this but with this programming cable you can only power your board for just 5 volt 
so for your better projects as like remote control cars or something other you will need some more voltage so for this you can easily use the v in point or also you can power your board with this port here is it so our arduino has another button which is the reset button by pressing it you can also delete the all kind of programs from our arduino board and then you can easily input your new program to your arduino board so i got free my programming cable and here is it looking so much cool but it's short in size so guys if you want to buy a long cable then here is it this is black in color you can also get it in this color so guys i have purchased my arduino uno for just rupees 459 so let's power our arduino so i'm connecting the programming port to my arduino uno r3 board and then here i have my power bank to power it up with only 5 volt so guys as you can see the lights are glowing so that means your arduino is really working pretty cool you can also power it up with this cable this cable is for this port so guys on my next videos i will show you some projects using arduino uno r3 board so for this time i want to say you goodbye and thanks for watching my this video and guys don't forget to thumbs up like this video share this video comment below and don't forget to share and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap on the bell icon then you will get all the notifications from my channel. Thanks for watching.